My Ghanaian brothers, you're in trouble. Um, one point out of two games and it ain't looking good. And I think we can finally say, and maybe I'm not preempting by saying this, that Egypt might finally actually make it to the World Cup. Um, they're not there yet. I still think Egypt as a team can play at a higher level. But we are now seeing the technical skill finally showing dividends and showing re returns. They're now winning the games that they, they should now win. So you look at this, and what was this game about? It was a closely fought game. But with closely fought four games, you know, the, the team that wins and comes through executes. I always say this point, but executing at key points in the game. Because Ghana had opportunities to execute. They, they failed to execute those, those things. But for Egypt, um, it's that key thing. You know, obviously, with, you, look, you look at our first goal. I was talking to my main man, Sher, 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 Mr. Reef, about this. Whoever that Ghanaian was who just ran like a headless um, calypso and lost the ball, that guy should should be de demoted straight. But then it came to Trezeguet. And with Trezeguet, that is just the individuality. <laughs> In a close game, the things that turn it towards your team are those individuals who go beyond the pale, who pretty much advance and really do more than pass the ball or just do the, the most obvious thing. He went and he, and he took it to Ghana. He drove into the box and for he pretty much bamboozled two of those defenders. And it was a situation where you have to make a tackle. Because he had done so well, he was in such a dangerous area, he, the, the a tackle had, had, to be, had to be made. And against Salah, boom, put the bubble away. And I think, you know, you look overall... At the game, Egypt they 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 deserved it because I thought that attacking wise, Egypt just had a bit more punch about them, and I think for Ghana, they held the ball possession. And this is this is the issue I've always had with Ghana, even during the 2010 World Cup as well and 2014, that they will control the game, they will look good with the ball, but there is nothing more beyond that. You know, there is no bite in attack. There is no incision. When you now get into that final third and around that 18 yard the other box, there isn't a playmaker who can put that killer through ball in there. That's what we're missing. They're missing that decisiveness in those key offensive areas. And I just think, I know, for Egypt, you know, Hector Coupe, if you remember, this was the, he used to, um, I think his, his height was when he was coaching in Valencia. Um, he's got them playing good technical football so i think egypt they've always been a very pass minded team but i think what he's done is that he's made them give them a bit more punch in attack you know still stuff to work in there but again you i always say that each team and this is what i was saying tonight and you need to have that star player that star guy who helps define your team and who you can look to for inspiration for ghana i'm not sure who it is it's not Ayu. it cannot be Ayu. he may be the captain but he's not that guy who they can look to to really um, define how they play. Um, obviously, you've got guys like Atsu and so forth who are good, but no, like, again, Jordan Ayu, he just doesn't do it. But for Egypt, Salah is that guy. Salah is that guy that when he gets the ball, he does something. He forces the, the issue. And he really brought it in this game. Again, he did have the most perfect game, but he had a game good enough that... Egypt now finally have a guy that, oh, as long as Salah is on the pitch, we have a chance of winning. And Egypt, right now, they're in an amazing position. You know, two wins out of two. I expect them to even go in there stronger to really ad ad advance through this. And I think that, you know, they're in a great position to quali qualify. And I think because if they mess it up now, then I mean, I'm, it would be a disaster. But I think right now, they're in a great position. And I think also as well, Having a full state, I mean, the, the, the home ground really helped them. They really helped them and pushed them in through. And I say for Ghana, what has to happen? I think Grant has, has to get sacked. You know, I think he needs, he needs the, the sack because I just don't see this team moving in the right direction. And I think for Ghana, they need to look at some of those young boys. I think this team needs an overhaul. People like Jordan Ayu does really deserve to be in that team. Are you telling me that none of those younger boys? Because I think a few years ago, the under-21 and the boys won like um, the championship, I think beating Brazil. Some young boys need to, need to be brought into this team and they need a different direction because I'm, I'm looking at that attack. There was nothing in their attack. There was no strong forward. And I'm not saying you go back to Asamoah Jan, 
but there needs to be much more decisiveness. There was no presence for Ghana in attack. And I think even the same thing for Egypt. I think Egypt could do with a really good old school striker because they've got so many good technical players and mid midfielders that when that there's not but when they try to cross the ball or put the ball in the box, there isn't that presence in them. And I think for Ghana, same thing as well. Whereas it's not about their players crossing into the box, they just need more personality in attack. And right now they don't have it. You know, so Ghana, they're in a very difficult position. They now have to pretty much win all of their matches now. They have they have to chop in all of their matches from now until the um, end of this qualifying. And they cannot afford to drop any more points. For Egypt, they've got to keep on going. They've started off very well. Two wins out, out of two. And you're looking... And I believe they are now... I think their most difficult game to come, I think, is when they have to travel to, to Ghana, where Ghana will win. Nah, you need to win the game. But for Egypt, man, I just... I, I think this is it. This is it. I don't think... They've not been in a World Cup, I believe, since 1990. And which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous for a team who have done so well in the, in the Nations Cup. But I think that... This is the time for them to finally seal that deal and make it to Russia in 2018 because I'm looking at that team and the, the team, the chemistry looks good, but they've got Salah. Like, you, it's good having a, a, a really good team, but you need a star player. And they have that star player in Salah. For, for Ghana, a lot needs to change because as of right now, they're in serious... Because you, 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 Uganda are a threat. Uganda are a threat. So Ghana are in serious danger of not qualifying for this World Cup. And they need some drastic total changes from back to front. Remember to follow me on Twitter and on Facebook via my uh, handle there at Half Hope Hot. I am on Twitter and on Facebook to keep up to date with my, my videos, my thoughts, my appearances on TV. Follow me right there. Guys, it's all it takes a few seconds. Please, if you enjoyed the vid, like the video it really helps to grow the channel and if you like if you're a new member just like subscribe to the channel right there subscribe right there to the channel for much more football hot stuff like the vid subscribe be part of the football hot fraternity stay black